Welcome to my car and train channel. Today I want to share with you this uh, Chinook Summit 2700. Chinook used to be up to 2005 or 6 a very high-end brand comparable with Airstream. You are going to see the inside, the quality of the amenities are outstanding. The beauty is that uh, it's uh, based on a Ford E450 and uh, that makes it uh, very easy for the maintenance and the longevity and it's a very well-known chassis. This one was built in 2005. It was the heydays, or I would say the summit of Chinook. Unfortunately, it, they were so expensive that they priced themselves out of the market and the competitors were able to offer for a lower grade of quality and a little bit less amenity motorhomes that were way less expensive. Let's do a quick walk around before we are going to go into the details. The thing which is unique with Chinook is the fact that the body, the coach, is one molded piece of fiberglass. Unless you drill holes in the roof, you don't have a membrane, so there are no leaks inside the motorhome. This one is equipped with the special paint job, which is very expensive. Actually, we still have the sticker price, the window sticker, and in 2005, this unit was worth above $200,000. Before we go too far into the motorhome, let's have a view from the window. Because RVing is all about that. What do you think? And that's what you can do with the motorhome, or a pool behind, or any kind of RV, actually. As with all motorhomes, there are different layouts. Many Chinook have a rear door entry, which is not the case of this one. Some have a queen-size bed with a slide-out. This one doesn't have the slide-out and it has two separate beds. The thing which is outstanding with Chinook is the quality of the wood and actually the quality of everything. Plain wood, a lot of storage for a small unit as this one and very sophisticated video system at that time. There, are one, there is one in the back, one in the front, and when you are in the back, you, are, you have four loudspeakers. You see the reading lamps, all the details are amazing. Look at those quality switches. The wine cellar. And very interesting, which is the, the built-in bill of material page with the different part numbers of the different equipments of this specific motorhome. 
very helpful if you want to reorder a part. A nice bathroom. The floor is tiled, which was an option. Lot of cabinets, as everywhere. And a shower. This is the sofa with the leather option and the slide out and the table to make it uh, like a dinette so it's a removable table. It's based on the, the foundation or the support is a square system. Not the most stable but still good enough. Can shake it a little bit. In the center, by the way, a souvenir of our airstream. It used to be uh, an outing that was made in New York State with the airstream club. Let's finish by the small, tiny medicine cabinet. And now let's move to the galley. Very well appointed. Freezer, refrigerator. Here you have the panel where you can monitor the gas tanks and the different levels that are necessary. Smoke detector. By the way, inside the door of the bathroom you have a mirror. A lot of cabinets, I won't go into all the details. A microwave, convection, the hood, two burners, two burner stove. And this is real Korean, and there is even an inlay, an insert, to be able to prove it. Beautiful drawers, everything which is wood is beautiful. And there is a surprise on this one. There is a central vacuum system, yes! So, you put the tube here and you are able to vacuum the entire motorhome from this point. A lot of electrical systems, it takes a while to learn them all. Here we have the inverter and the monitoring uh, system for the electricity which is coming inside the motorhome. Speaking about electricity, fuses are a little bit everywhere in the motorhome. They didn't have yet the central system, it came later. So those are the 12 volt. On the side the power sofa more fuses here, those are the 120 volt fuses, or breakers I would say. Another spot for fuses behind the TV or on the right side of the TV. More switches here, entry light, outside light, dump light where you dump, and the switch for the steps. Here is uh, the monitoring of the temperature, the heating and AC. It's a heat pump on the roof. The entire ceiling is ducted for air conditioning or heating. 
Here we have the system uh, to use the, the slide out, the room extension on the left, the leveling jacks on the top right, and monitoring the charge of the coach batteries. There are three deep cycle coach batteries. And more switches here, driving lights, which are like high beams, the vehicle boost start in case you have forgotten, you have drained your um, truck battery and you start on the coach, the generator, and the switch on the right, which is very important, it's really to disconnect the coach batteries. You need to know that it takes a while for the system to rearm itself in case it's out. The front set of TVs with the DVD, MP3, everything, CD player. The original TV has been replaced by a more modern one. And here we have four loudspeakers in the living room, dining room area with the original clock. The driving cockpit, the thing that I like is that uh, unlike the ones where you have the over cockpit portion where people can sleep and you need really to crawl down, this one has an easy access to the cockpit and you have good visibility. We used to have a class A before and the thing that I was missing on the class A is that there was only one door in the center of the motorhome. This one has two doors and I really like to be able to get in and out easily, both for the passenger and the driver. The trade-off, because it's always about trade-off, when you are uh, driving and you want to get in the center of the motorhome, so in the salon portion, it's very limited space for your legs to get uh, inside the coach of the motorhome. Ford 450, very uh, simple, easy, nothing special to say about it. Oh, yeah, one thing is the rear view camera. A little bit outdated. So this is a 2005. It doesn't have the navigation. You are before the Internet of Things technology with this one. The radio system is equipped to receive the Sirius Link system radio, which was very uh, innovative in 2005. For me, what is very important when I have a new equipment is to have all the manuals, the user manuals. Here we are lucky because even 20 years later, we got all those manuals. There are two sections, I would say. One which is the motorhome itself, the 2005 owner's manual, that goes in that white box. By the way, we have the original Chinook pouch with uh, where actually all those manuals were but it's not very convenient so I've put them in uh, metal holders. On the right side I have the user manual for the Chinook motorhome and on the left it's all the different equipments and I have organized them by theme so that we can access them easily. This one has an additional one person seat and behind this is where we store the table, the dinette table. Let's look at the storage compartments. They are not a lot. It's not what is called a full basement in case you are dreaming about it. But this is part of the benefit of the Chinook is to be a low profile, a low pro cross section 
So the first one in front of the door is available for your staff. We call that the dirty one, if I may say. Especially it has the, the drain hose. Then we have a second one, which is also our, and you are going to see what our means. This is the clean one, where I think that I don't want to be contaminated with the, whatever is inside the drain hose. Then there is another one, which is mostly the battery compartment, so there is not a lot of room. One thing to mention, the battery drawer, that's very good, and you see. The good thing is that there are three deep cycle batteries, not two, as typically in motorhomes. And I'm sure you know, if you pay a little bit more, you can get deeper cycle batteries than the specification. The last one on the passenger side, is for the generator. Then let's go on the other side of the motorhome. Nothing in the back. And then you have a small flap. So this is not a compartment, actually it's the access to the propane. And I would assume that uh, this one is available for most of the motorhomes, but in our case, that's where there is the air pump and all the system for the slide out and also uh, for the leveling jacks. So out of all those, the motorhome itself is using two thirds and we have only one third which is available to us, the, the passengers or the driver. Integrated with the slide out, the fresh water connection to fill directly the tanks. This one is equipped with the satellite TV. And I know everybody wants to see a view of the roof. So here is a good view the solar panel, the AC, heat pump, one light, and there is one also in front of the AC unit. And here is the satellite TV. And here are friends visiting with their nice lotus. What a beautiful setup with these flowers. We could say a flower among the flowers. Now my famous her opinion. What do you think about the motorhome? I just love it. I mean, and it was love at the first sight. Absolutely love it. I like the size, 27 feet, so it's very drivable. And uh, I like uh, the craftsmanship, so the quality is outstanding. Can you believe this one is 20 years old and it looks like brand new? I mean, it really, people turn their heads when they see you with that. And the inside with all of the woodwork is totally incredible. Um, this is quality. This is US made, like it was done 20 years ago, and that was really solid wood. Uh, the leather is perfect, and I like the island in the, the galley, the kitchen, you know, which is a, a aquarium countertop. I like all of the cabinets. I like uh, the full bathroom with a real shower, and uh, also the tiles. I mean, so tiles in the, the kitchen and, and bathroom. So it, it's, it's fabulous. Thank you very much, thank you. And you are also a flower among the flowers. Thank you. Now we are on the country road. It's a smooth ride. Very nice. When we are on the highway, it has a good kick. Uh, it's a little bit heavy though, uh, because of all the amenities, you know, the woodwork and the tile floor. 
that has um, some um, weight but still and uh, we don't feel the draft when the heavy trucks um, pass us so it's a really nice RV that Chinook Summit 2700 and it has an air ride, air suspension. Air suspension. And it's the same air pump which is feeding the, the, the gasket around the room extension, the slide out, so that it's airtight. on the windshield because there is no over, over the cab uh, overhang so that's good thank you for watching this video if you have any questions, please ask them through the comments section.